Hello kindergartners. I hope you're all doing great. Today we're going to learn about how to describe and continue number patterns. So let's learn about number patterns. What is a pattern? Remember, a pattern is something that repeats itself over and over again. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Cat, cat, dog. Cat, cat, dog. Similarly, in a number patterns, the numbers change in the same way each time. Let's identify the pattern to find the missing numbers. 8 plus 1 equals to 9. 9 plus 1 equals to 10. 10 plus 1 equals to 11. 11 plus 1 equals to 12. In each step, the numbers increase by 1. So we are adding 1 to get the next term. Let's identify this pattern. Hmm. 8 plus 2 equals to 10. 10 plus 2 equals to 12. In each step, the numbers are increasing by 2. Therefore, the number pattern is to add 2 to get the next term. So, 12 plus 2 equals to 40. And 14 plus 2 equals to 60. So, the number pattern is to add 2 to get the next term. Let's look at this example. Let's take 14 minus 2 equals to 12 and 12 minus 2 equals to 10. In each step, the numbers are decreasing by 2. Therefore, the number pattern is to subtract 2. So, 10 minus 2 equals to 8 and 6 minus 2 equals to 4. So, the number pattern over here is to subtract 2. Here comes another example. Let's see. 17 take away 1 equals to 16 and 16 take away 1 equals to 50. In each step, the numbers are decreasing by 1, so the number pattern is to take away 1. So we will subtract 1 from 20, we get 19. And then 19 minus 1 equals to 18. So the number pattern over here is to take away 1. Let's look at some more examples. Here is a number pattern. Look at the sequence of numbers. Can you guess the number? Start from 1 and add 2 each time. 1 plus 2 equals to 3. 3 plus 2 equals to 5. Keep adding 2 each time. Next term will be 11 plus 2 equals to 30. Once you understand the pattern, you can easily write the next digit to complete the pattern. Let's see another example. What do you do to 4 to get to 7? Hmm. We will add 3 to 4 to get to 7. Now what do you do to 7 to get to 10? Yes, we will add 3 to 7 to get to 10. So the rule is to add 3 and keep adding 3 to the numbers to find the missing numbers. So the missing number will be 13 plus 3 equals to 16. Well, that's the end of the lesson. To do the task, you need to download the worksheet or print a copy. You can also do it on a plain sheet of paper. If you require any help, you can watch the video again. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye for now and see you soon.